wrinkle. Buckle up, folks, it's switch to rumor time. And you know what? I've been good. <laughs> I've been really good. I've been trying not to make videos about every single next Nintendo system rumor that comes across my desk, so to speak. And there have been a lot of them. There have been a lot of rumors. You know, uh, just recently we had that one where uh, people thought maybe Game Shark had uh, leaked the release date of the next system or something. That one didn't really feel, I don't know. I didn't really buy that one. Just that, re that really just felt like a person saying a thing. You know, just because they can. It might have even been purposeful, a bit of a PR stunt. Right now, anybody can just be like, uh, yeah, I know when it's coming out, and then everyone jumps on them, and then there's articles and stuff. And so that's why I've, I've been trying to be good, not paying attention to every single one. But this one right here, it did, it tipped, it tipped over. It was the, the straw that broke the camel's back, and the one that I just absolutely had to come and do a video about, had to talk about, because it feels to me a lot more tangible than maybe any other rumor that we have had so far. It's not just some person saying a thing. It's multiple, it's a lot of people <laughs> all saying a thing. It's it's strength in numbers, whatever, let's, let's talk about it. So GDC, Game Developers Conference. It's a big conference, they do, they invite game developers from all over the world every year in San Francisco. It's really cool, I went a couple years ago. It was really neat, love to go again. And every year they do a big state of the industry survey where they just survey a bunch of game devs, usually in the thousands, and they just ask about, uh, you know, their preferred platforms, platforms they're excited to develop for, just to try to get like a little, a little slice of just what game developers are feeling about various topics and platforms at any given time. So they just did their survey for this year, and for rumor-mongering monsters like myself, it turned up an interesting datum. Datum is the singular of data. Did you know that? You probably did. I learned it from Foxtrot a long time ago. Anyway, about 3,000 developers were polled, and out of those 3,000 people, 8% of them said they were working on games for the Switch's successor. 8% just said, I am working on a game for the next Nintendo system. Out of 3,000 people, that's about 240 people. Now, okay, any good rumor has got to pass the pressure test. You know, if, if you want to believe that something is true, you want it to support your argument, you got to scrutinize it. You know, that's the, that's the, that's the scientific way. You don't just believe it because you want to believe it, but because you have tested it in every way you can think to test it, and it still holds up. So let us imagine the ways that this could not actually be pointing to anything, <laughs> to a new Nintendo system or whatever. The biggest thing, the real, the real main thing here is we don't necessarily know what it means when someone says they're working on a game for the uh, Switch's successor. This could mean people with dev kits or with specs in mind and they have actual information and they are really actually developing games for the next, let's just call it Switch 2, I'm just calling it Switch 2, it's easy. Or this could just mean people who are making games with the idea that they will eventually put them on the Switch 2, that they know the Switch 2 is coming in so the somewhat near-ish future. So maybe they're just making games and just being like, I'm just gonna keep working on it, and then once I get the dev kit or once we get the specs, then we can actually start to specifically target that system. Maybe they are just getting ahead of the game. And I, you know, you can't blame them. Switch is a really big success, and a lot of the early titles on Switch were really, really humongously popular and very, very successful. So I'm sure a lot of people want to get on the next one as early as they can. Also worth noting, if you look at the survey from January 2017, right before the Switch launched, about two months before, GDC surveyed 4,500 devs and only 3% of them, which came out to about 135, were working on Switch games. That is a much lower number than we have now on one hand, you can say that not everybody was absolutely sure that the Switch was going to be a big success, so people were a little bit more hesitant to uh, develop for it that early on. But then on the other hand, you could consider that the Switch had been announced. It was only months away from launching, and you still only had 3% of that 4,500 people, about 135 people, 
just saying, yes, I am working on a Switch game. The fact that right now the Switch 2 has not even been announced yet, literally nothing official whatsoever, but there's still 240 people claiming that they are working on titles for it, that to me still seems pretty darn substantial. Also worth noting though, a little bit more scrutiny here, um, if the system has not even been announced yet, why would so many people admit that they are working on it? I mean, anybody with access to a Switch 2 or a Switch 2 dev kit or anything, or any just information about it right now, will have signed a solid NDA, non-disclosure agreement. You tell anybody about this and we sue you. The thing is though, I'm really not sure how the legality of this works when it comes to an anonymous survey. If you're working on a Switch 2 game and you go and just tell a publication that you're working on a Switch 2 game, like that that's obviously a clear breach of your NDA and you get in big, big trouble. But if you're attending GDC and GDC creates a survey and you take that survey anonymously and there's a checkbox that says Switch 2, and all you gotta do is check it and nobody even knows who put that check there? Is that against the rules? I honestly, I don't know. Maybe that's why we have gotten so much transparency here because I don't know, it just, it said, what, do you, what platforms are you working on? And Switch 2 was there, so I put a check there, you know? Like, how would they even know it was you? Maybe that's why these people were so confident. So basically, we've got 240 game developers, and this is just a very small sampling. That, that's another thing to consider here, is that this survey here, this is just a few thousand people who were surveyed for GDC. This does not necessarily represent the entirety of the game industry, especially when you consider it's just a really huge industry. All, all the different sizes of studios, the AAA space. Um, it's a lot. And yet this is still a pretty darn good little sampling of people. 240 people. We don't know how many of those people um, are representing the same company or that they're sharing, or is that 240 people across 240 different studios? We really don't know. So like, sure, this might not mean anything. Like like I said, it might just be people who are like, they're working on a game that they plan to put on the Switch 2 when it gets revealed, when they finally know about it. But to me, this seems like, I don't know, it's again, it's that strength in numbers thing. This is pretty, it feels pretty major to me. It feels legit. It just feels like too many people to mean absolutely nothing. This system is not even announced and this many, this high of a percentage of the people taking this survey are like, yeah, yeah, I'm working on games for it. And then you add that to all the other stuff that other people have been saying. You, We've had all of these rumors about people talking about all these different studios with dev kits. Like it's really, it really feels tangible now. I feel that this is real. And you know what? Maybe I don't need to work so hard <laughs> to try and convince people of the existence of the Switch 2. That's, that's what's funny is it's like, obviously anyone can, can see that like a new system will come eventually. And if it's gonna come eventually, Nintendo is working on it right now. They have to be, it takes years to develop a console. But I think maybe I just like, I, I, I just still see too many people who are just so completely against the idea of even talking about a new system at all. And maybe that bothers me. <laughs> maybe that's why I feel like I have to work so hard to just like, just like, no, look, it's coming. It's not just that though. It's obviously like, you know, people, people look down on rumor mongers such as myself, but like, honestly, I'll just remind you again, it's cause it's fun. It's just fun. It's literally just the fun part of the process. I'm just, I, I'm excited for a new system. So I love rumors about the new system. I love talking about it. It's just fun to me. And like for anyone who's still skeptical, like just look back through history. Just look back before the reveals and the launches of basically every console ever. This is the kind of activity that happens before launch. And no, the whole Switch Pro thing, that not panning out, that is not evidence that like, oh, we've been doing this for years. Like, no, different circumstances. The Switch Pro probably was a thing. It probably got canceled because of the chip shortages and all that stuff. And that's different. Though That's way, way different from this. This pre-reveal brand new console generation buzz 
it always goes like this. And this does not happen years before a system is revealed. It happens right before. Every time any console launch you can think of, this is the time that we are in right now. This is where we are at. I mean, I, I'm willing to bet so, I'm really going out on a limb, but like I'm so willing to bet it's this year. It's definitely coming this year. And if not, next year is a guarantee, but I'm like, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure this year. It just like, it's, I don't know, I could go on. This is what we see before a console is revealed every single time. We're in it right now. And that's exciting. <laughs> I love it. I love this, this, this tension. It's this electricity in the air. This, this, oh, just the, the potential is huge. We're waiting for it to just materialize before our eyes. But I will keep waiting for something official. I'll keep trying to be good. You know, only talking about the real, ooh, the real tangible juiciest of the rumors. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And uh, if any of those, uh, <laughs> 240 developers uh, who claim to be working on Switch 2 games. If you just want to, like, shoot me an email and, uh, you know, uh, just tell, tell, tell me. Just tell me everything. Spill the beans. I promise I won't tell. I won't tell. I won't tell. I'm not going to tell. I will not, I'm not going to get you in trouble. I, you know, I'm not going to. No, no, it's fine. You just, just want to talk about it. You just want to talk about it. You want to tell somebody? You want to you confide in me? You want to hear? Uh, an ear to lean on. I'm here. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's fine. It's it's hard to keep a secret like that. I can really put a lot of pressure on you, and I just want to, I just want to make sure you've got an outlet. This is a mental uh, well-being thing. I won't tell. I won't tell. I'm not gonna. I won't come here. I won't do what I'm doing right now, talking into a microphone, and then putting it on the internet. I won't do that. I promise. Promise. Pinky swear. Double pinky swear. You can, you can tell me it's okay. You can be honest. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Please, 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 please. <laughs>